We have to film. Shh. Shh. Ah. Ah. Hey. Instant noodles, the magic food that has kept many students alive after leaving their parents' home. Even I cannot begin to count the amount of instant noodles I must have eaten. So when Morrison asked me to please make an instant noodle steak experiment, I just had to say yes. Of course, it all starts with the instant noodles. The best instant noodles are the yum yum instant beef noodles. So Morrison spent all of yesterday hoarding up all of these packages. Great job, Morrison. So let me be clear, this was Morrison his idea. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'm dying to find out. A pack of instant noodles consists of dry noodles, flavored oil, and dry seasoning. Can you only imagine steak and noodles? That could be a name of a restaurant. Steak and noodles. I got dips. Of course, you guys are not here for the noodles. You guys are here for the steak. Ribeye steak. I selected a beautiful bone-in ribeye steak with a lot of intramuscular fat and a beautiful fat cap. This thing is going to be amazing and it's perfect for our experiment. Okay, here's the plan. We're going to take all of the instant noodles out of the package and make a big pile out of it. Then we're going to take all of the spices out of the package and put them in a separate bowl. We'll do the same for our flavored oils. Take them out of the bags and put them in a separate bowl. I want to create a marinade using both the oil and the spice mixes. So we're going to taste them individually. The oils are rich and creamy, but most of all, they're super spicy. They don't have a lot of salt in them and not a lot of flavor. The spice mix is loaded with flavor and definitely a lot of MSG, but it has a good base of broth. Now I know what to do. To create the perfect marinade, I'm going to mix half of the spices with the oils. Look at that consistency, nice and thick. This is going to be a delicious marinade. Now we're taking out our beautiful bone-in ribeye steak. I'm placing it in a container and pouring over our marinade. You wanna make sure you pour everything on it and coat your steak heavily on all sides. Get it in there. When that's done, we're putting our steak in the fridge for at least six hours. As you guys can see, the barbecue barn is coming along nicely. Timber framing is set, we're waiting on the roof. And in the meantime, we got a steak to grill. So I got a tank full of gas, let's fire up the barbecue. I fired up my Napoleon Prestige Pro 500. I set it up for a direct zone and an indirect zone. I'm gonna let it come up to a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius, which is around 280 degrees Fahrenheit. While we wait for our barbecue to get up to temperature, we're going to take a closer look at our marinated steak. Wow, that fat really got hard, and there's a lot of fat on it. As you can see, it's quite hard to take that fat off. So I'm just gonna leave it on and render it off while we warm up our steak over indirect heat. We're going to use the reverse sear technique, which means we're going to let the steak slowly come up to a temperature of 54 degrees Celsius and then sear them off over the hot sizzle zone. But first, we have to wait. So this is the perfect opportunity to make the noodles even better. You didn't think we're going to let those noodles go to waste, did you? So we're going to make a proper noodle soup, starting by stir frying one fresh sliced chili pepper, a little chunk of fine chopped ginger, one fine chopped garlic clove, and finally one fine chopped shallot. Stir fry it real quick, and if you get a little bit of char, that's perfect. When that's done, we're taking a pan of beef broth. To that, we're going to add a tablespoon of miso paste, the stir fry spices, and four pieces of noodles. We're going to let that come to a boil and let it sit for around three to five minutes. The noodles are done, time to get them in a bowl. Whoa. There's something about instant noodles that just makes me smile. A little bit of fine sliced cabbage on the side, a little bit of fine sliced carrots on the side, julienne, some thin sliced spring onion rings. Pour on a little bit of that broth and miso and our beautiful bowl of noodle soup is done. And there's our beep. 
Our steaks reach the core temperature of 54 degrees Celsius. Time to take them off the grill. We let the steaks come up to a temperature of 54 degrees Celsius. We let them rest and then we finish them off on the sizzle zone at a temperature of 800 degrees Celsius, which is around 1400 degrees Fahrenheit, building up that beautiful crust. And once that's done, it's time to slice into them. Now look at those beautiful steaks. They turned out amazing. We can see a clear difference between the steak that we marinated with our instant noodle flavors. It has a beautiful crust with a little bit of char in it. Whereas our reverse sear steak, the way I normally cook it with seasoning afterwards, it doesn't have as much of a char. The cuisson is the same, but the crust is a little bit better. This looks promising. Can't wait to try it. But I gotta try first. Brilliant idea, Morrison. This is tender. I can't find the right words. There's a lot of MSG flavor on this steak. The crust is really, really good. The beef is still tasteable. The crust is good. It's, it's really, um, it's like noodles. <laughs> I like it. The, the herbs are insane. I don't know how much of the steak I could eat. I don't have a problem with MSG when biting into it the first time. It really tastes nice. The flavor combination is really good. When you eat it for a while, it, it, it always gets, I don't know, something like everything starts tasting the same. So that's why I'm not really super excited about the MSG flavor. Although at the first bite, it really tastes good. And if you love instant noodles, you're gonna love this. Okay, now the reference steak. Hmm. Yeah, the noodle steak is much better. I like this one better. Really? Beef and salt. Yeah, really. I like this better. With the reference steak, the beef does taste good, really good. It's not really significant. With the noodle steak, it's, it's really something special and it's really different and it enhances the steak. What more could you wish for? I'll, I'll go for the noodle steak. And especially when you want to combine it with the noodles. Now let's try these noodles. Mmm. Mm. This is really good. Wow, I can't believe these are instant noodles. Of course we upgraded them. This is so good. Using the MSG based enhanced flavors of the instant noodles to brine that steak in combination with these noodles that we just made. It's a brilliant combination. And even though I like my steak with salt better, combined with noodles, I'm digging this MSG thing. I'm gonna finish this bowl right now so we got to close up this video hope you guys enjoyed it big thank you to our patrons and youtube members you guys freaking rock you know who you are because the list is scrolling down in a minute and uh well what can i say in the meantime hey smakelijk and keep on grilling see see i'm getting all confused because this big beautiful bowl is in front of me it just makes me hungry you like the steak msg steak better right the yeah. the, the instant noodle steak yeah. We can trade. I'll eat the MSG. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. There's more left of the, <laughs> yeah. the steak was sold only. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm glad we got two steaks. But I love the noodles with the steak. That's even better. Fantastic combination. Steak and noodles. It's a future restaurant. We could be business partners more. Hey. And we could make it really easy because we only need to find some cookie that can Grill the instant, make the instant noodles and grill steak.